So when we're looking at modeling systems, mathematically modeling systems, uh, we quite often might have a problem like this. Uh, this is a continuous question on one we've seen before, talking about a relationship between the amount of sugar in a yeast brewing vat and the fermentation temperature, Tf. So we've given some uh, information in the question and we need to describe the relationship. So it says determine the general equation relating temperature to sugar due to the yeast component. Okay, so the key phrase here if we look at this question is that uh, Tf is proportional to the sum over time. And notice that it's very different to saying Tf is proportional um, to S, which is what we had before. So writing that generally, we'd have the fermentation share sorry the fermentation temperature is proportional to the sum s over time that's the same as saying the integral of s over time so that's an integral symbol and this dt means over time this is a general relationship to turn it into a general equation we would have tf equals k integral s dt what did i do i put this k value in here k is the constant of proportionality and yes I don't have enough information in the question to know exactly what that is I might make an educated guess because it says for a given amount of yeast so I might say that the yeast content is the constant of proportionality but I'd be better to say that the constant of proportionality is probably just a function of the amount of uh, a given amount of yeast rather than just saying it is y specifically uh, let's have a look at another question uh, the next question will be similar but uh, has some different properties. So it says now the uh, for, for a given vat, the um, fermentation, fermentation temperature is proportional to the rate of change of the amount of sugar. So how do we answer that? Well, exactly the same way. We'll start out with a general relationship saying that Tf is proportional to ds over dt. Why? Because this is shorthand for the rate of change of the amount of sugar. We turn this from a general to a specific relationship by going k ds over dt. Once again, that is the constant of proportionality. And once again, I might say that that is just v, the given vat, but I would prefer, it's more accurate to say, that k is probably a function of v because it's not clear to me from this question that the only important thing relating the rate of change of the sugar content to the fermentation temperature is the size of the vat. There's probably going to be other things in there as well, so I prefer to use this general K term rather than a specific V. So there's lots of other equations you can find um, on, sorry, lots of other problems and examples you can find online to go through these kind of questions, but they're just a way of uh, taking, of you taking uh, wordy problems and turning into a problem that we can start to solve using our mathematical toolkit. So by now, hopefully you can define what an LTI model is, um, try and decide whether you think a relationship is linear or not and what kind of relationship it is, proportional, inversely proportional, proportional to the derivatives, and discuss some of the benefits of using an LTI model.